Guys, you're literally not gonna believe this. Holy crap, that was the coolest thing I could argue I've seen in a long time. There's like no way I actually get a chance to, to show you this, but I was just walking over to the house from over there and hopping through the yard was a weasel with a chipmunk in its, in its mouth. And it just ran into these bushes here. And I try, I came here immediately. I know it didn't go that way. So it's still in this patch of woods with the with chipmunk. But, oh my goodness. It's nearly impossible for me actually to be able to show this to you. But that is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Here it is. Here it is. It's right here. I just saw it scoot around actually. Hopefully it's going up the tree because then I can get a really good shot. There it is, holy, holy crap. Did you see that? Holy crap. Oh my gosh, I saw its face. There it is. At this point, guys, you can see I'm no longer talking. I'm just so shocked that I just saw this and I'm trying so hard to get some good footage of it. I saw it really well. Obviously, you always see something better with your own eyes than you do recording. I tried like zooming in just to show you, but it just ended up being a fuzzy picture. But you saw the chipmunk pretty well a couple times. He had killed that chipmunk I was dragging around. Here I'm just scrambling around the tree trying to find it, and I can't. But yeah, that was just that was pretty darn cool. And so I never ended up seeing it again. I set a trap to try and catch it. We'll see what happens, though. I never ended up seeing him again, though, that day. At this point, I noticed there was like I what I believe to be like a little chipmunk hole under there, and I know the weasel was 100% small enough to fit down a chipmunk hole, so I thought he might have gone down there. So as you see here, I turn my flashlight on and try to get some view, but it looks kind of like a dead end tunnel. I never, I just could not believe I'd just seen this, and I really, really wanted to get some good footage of it because I knew the camera wasn't going to see it so well in here. Obviously, I start kind of looking in the tree because I thought he definitely could have climbed up. The only thing that was keeping him in that little patch was the fact that I was blocking off his way to get around. As you saw in the first clip, he kind of tried to scoot away and was unsuccessful because he really wanted his food. That was also part of what was keeping him there. He really wanted his prize, the chipmunk he'd killed. But, uh, yeah, this was really fun. I had a great time. And, uh... Thank you so much for watching. If I trap it, I'll show you that right now, but I don't think I'll catch him. So if not, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Also, I mean, watch through the footage a couple times, and if you see any movement, like when I was, I was recording, and I was recording and also just going through it, just seeing, and I was like, hey, if, if somebody or I, when I go through this footage again, see movement, that would be like lucky, you know, because I'm just... Waving the camera around, hoping to see something. So see what you can see, and thanks for watching. Well, as you can see, guys, in my attempt to catch a weasel, I have caught this cute little red squirrel. Now, there is no hunting or trapping season for a red squirrel, so technically I could kill this little guy, and I could make a really pretty little coat out of it. Not a coat, obviously, but a little skin. But, uh, you know, I just don't feel like it. Oh, look at him backing up into the corner. He's so scared. So I'm just going to let him go. My little guy, you're free. I guess we'll just reset this and see if we catch anything.